So you were wondering how redstone repeaters work. Maybe you've seen some epic redstone machine somewhere, or you are familiar with it, but not sure if you know everything about repeaters. If that's the case, then you are in the right place. Redstone repeaters can be used four different ways. Redstone signals has a maximum power level of 15. That level drops by one for every block of redstone dust. If the signal must travel more than 15 blocks, we can use a repeater. A redstone repeater can boost a signal back to the power level of 15. You probably noticed repeaters has two redstone torches and when you click on them, the two torches distance is changing. When initially placed, Redstone repeater has a delay of one tick. Repeater's delay can be modified by clicking them and each use increase the repeater delay by one to a maximum of four redstone ticks and then back to one redstone tick. Longer delays can be made with multiple repeaters. Redstone repeaters are act as a diode. It allows the redstone signal only to travel in one direction. You probably noticed there is kind of a triangle on top of it and this shows which direction the signal allowed to travel. This way you can protect your circuit to make sure no signal are traveling backward. A redstone repeater can be locked by another repeater facing of its side. When locked, the repeater does not change its output, whether powered or unpowered. No matter what the input does, when the side repeater turns back off, the repeater returns to its normal behavior. Repeaters are capable to read out a signal from a block and some objects, but it cannot be a half block. And please don't forget to check out my other videos on Minecraft and Redstone. Thank you for watching. Bye.